Gotcha here again today with some more super cool fun stuff in the game Heroes of the Storm. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to be taking a look at game number three in the series for Let's Learn Sylvanas. That's right, she had an extensive rework in the uh, latest iteration of the patch notes. And so if you're not familiar with that, I have already gone through game number one and two, where we look at the first and second talent at each tier, respectively. This is gonna be game number three, looking at the details of all those third talents. We gotta see what's up, man. We gotta fill it in some gameplay action. So let's just jump right into it. Here we go into the Sky Temple, which is a pretty common map. Um, it's been around forever, everybody knows what's up, so I'm not worried, gonna worry about telling you what it is. We have Lucio, Phoenix, Orphea, ooh, ouch, feels bad. Mephisto and Arthas on the enemy team. On the ally team, we have Stitchy Boy, who is the newest uh, hero reorg as well um, as Sylvanus. Oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. No, 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 don't kill our boy. Don't kill our boy, that's not cool. Not cool at all, bye. One for one, I'll take that. I'll take that, maybe. My globe. Okay, may maybe not my globe. Holy cow, that was so much damage, bro. Okay, so the uh, we're gonna go ahead and tap here and then head up to the top lane. Now, the first talent we're taking in this gameplay is gonna be Overwhelming Affliction. I don't know why I said it like that, but it feels a little more overwhelming when you say it that way. What that's gonna do is enemy heroes, right? They get the Banshee Curse, that's your trait. Leave me alone, Phoenix! Jeez. Let's see, let's see how we can do here, actually. I don't think this is going to go too well for us. Ow, it hurts so bad. <laughs> that was a mistake. You know? Estevan. What's up, Estevan? How you doing, man? Sylvanas got this rework, so we got to check her out. Oh, it hurts so bad. This is ridiculous. Somebody come help me. Please. Give me my globe, man. Oh, it's going to kill me if it hits me. Oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> can't let him can't let him heal please please spread to him where'd he go i hit him <laughs> all right can't let can't let him hit me get that up get away <laughs> it's like a freaking uh like i don't know juggling act to stay away from me is he right there you want somebody okay your your curt your black arrow so they changed it to where your basic attacks apply a stack after three stacks Ooh, do you see me Ow, 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 run. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang it. Savannah's is so different. It's weird. Still getting used to it, but okay. Basic attacks. Three stacks is going to give you the Banshee's Curse. You're going to deal 25% more damage to the target um, over the next three seconds. And then your level one talent. We're going to pick up Possession, by the way. Overwhelming Affliction, enemy heroes with three stacks of Banshee's Curse are slowed 15%. Sylvanas' basic attacks against slowed enemies deal 1% of their maximum damage, maximum health. That's really good for level 1 talent to get a um, a version of Giant Killer, I would say. I gotta possess that. Come here. I possessed it. You're possessed. Come here, Phoenix. Oh, I just wasted my D. Can't let that hit me. Can't let that hit me. Get away. Get away. Please. Please. Okay, Phoenix is gonna kick my butt, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I really do not like mind control. <laughs> we might take it, but it won't. It doesn't seem to get much value. All right, we got tap again. Now the possession functions just like the other one did. Uh, I don't think there's any changes to it. You get three stacks of it. Uh, oh yeah, they did nerf it actually. So the catapult does require three stacks to work. Uh, there we go. Get up! Do all the damage to Oh, Phoenix. No, no, no. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. We're going to do that. I need to move the possession to another key because that's really difficult for me to press. Ouch. Missed. Nanner, nanner. Nanner, nanner. This is game number three, by the way, Esteban. Thanks. Esteban. Oh, boy. I need to pay attention. I've died here. Mistakes were made. Gray main. All right, we're getting, the, we're getting the middle. We're pressuring the top, but it's pretty much going to be a done deal here. Retreat is not weakness. All right, let's move down here. Make sure we secure the last two shots on this one. Choose a talent. Get out of here. Get out of here. The magic of the temples. All right, now this is where a thing, the magic starts. The level seven. Please don't take this tower. This one's called Festering Wounds. 
And so what that does is it applies three stacks of your Banshee Curse anytime you hit with a wave, which means that you're doing 25% more damage instantly. Ow. Should you only? I don't, I don't even know. This guy just knows he can't be killed. Oh, I just ported to that. By mistake. Oh, no. Mistakes made. Run. Run. I'm dead. I'm just dead. I mean... <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> jeez, dude. Okay, no worries, no worries. We're going to look at this. So it automatically applies three stacks of the Banshee's Curse, right? And it deals 25% more damage. It's very nice. And so with the Banshee's Curse being three stacks, that means that everybody is then immediately slowed because of your level one talent. So, and then in addition to that, you're doing 1% of their maximum health um, with your basic attacks, right? Yeah, basic attacks. Yeah. So it's good, man. It's just pretty good. It kind of works together. Oh, yeah. got to use those. I'm not used to having this one. Look, can somebody help me kill this guy? I'm done with the top lane. I'm absolutely... Oh, wait. I don't want him to die. What are we doing here? I'm done with the top lane, man. I cannot do anything to, about this guy. It's ridiculous. Are they, is, is he there? Is he going to, like, jump in on us and kill us? Please don't. I don't want to die. Oh, can we go get him? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ready? Oh, I got him. Uh, hit him. Kill him. Great bag, kill him. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I got it back. I got it back. Too much going on here, Esteban. Oh, okay, level 10. We're going to pick up mind control. See how it works out. Um, so far, not very good. Not very good. Not going to lie. A couple of games that I've tried it has not been amazing. It has not been amazing. Um, hopefully, this game will be amazing. We'll get some amazing plays. How many times can I say amazing? In like one example of what I'm trying to say, I don't know. An amazing amount. <laughs> Mind control is the same. It just it just sucks. Well, it's not the same. Sorry, it's uh, the with the silence arrow deal. Wailing arrow is the same. This one's actually different. We're gonna go top. So it is a 50 second cooldown. You fire a projectile out, right? And so instead of just targeting the hero like you did before, you're going to actually shoot a projectile out that you have to land. So it's a skill shot all of a sudden. Which, by the way, sucks. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. <laughs> it's hard to hit, and uh, it has a weird travel time. It takes some getting used to, and then the duration of it is not amazing. It's actually really freaking bad. Um, can I? Oh, see, I missed. I was trying to get Lucy on the back line. Oh, we got this though. Oh yeah, we got this though. You want some? You want some of this, huh? I don't think so. Ah! Don't let him kill me. Yes. All right. Well, that went pretty well. <laughs> Uh, I didn't get any value out of my um, uh, heroic there, the uh, mind control, but you know, let's go ahead and get this junk going. All right, that's cool, but that's what it does. It's a uh, second and a half, I think, or one point, one point seven five seconds. So it's really fast, which sucks. Oh, good juke, dude! Meowsy's killing it. This guy's a boss. We can get this cleared out really quickly, no problem. Oh, you missed! <laughs> he completely whipped his ult. That's awesome. Ow, that hurts. It hurts so bad. Okay, we, oh, here we go. Here we go. Can we get the play? Did I get anybody? Oh, I got the tank. That's really not what I was going for. Not at all, actually. We're doing percentage-based damage to his maximum health pool. We are mount moving out. I said now for some reason. I don't really know why. Can I Can I maybe leave? That'd be great if I could leave. Oh, that's going to hurt, though. Tap the well, boys. Don't die. No. No. Oh, that's a lot of damage. We're turning and burning. We are turning and burning. Let's go. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Can we kill him? Uh, no, we cannot. Oh, good stun. Good stun. Get in there. Oh, I hit him. Oh, we got it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, I wanted him so bad. I wanted this so bad. That's okay. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Watch. What? What? The? Oh, I didn't have enough mana. I was like, what? I just hit my ult. What happened? Okay, I'm out of here. I need mana and health. Things are not looking amazing right now. Amazing. <laughs> uh, no, no. Not an avid Sylvanas player. Uh, just playing the new stuff. Just playing the new stuff. Um, maybe be an avid Sylvanas player after these games if I get better at her. She's actually a lot of fun, though. She is a lot of fun. The changes are significant and uh, definitely worth learning. So that's what we're doing here. Remorseless. I don't know what this does. I forgot. 
but I'll tell you. Hang on. So, increases your basic attack range. Nice. Basic attacks against enemy heroes with three stacks of Banshee Curse. Remember, we're getting that on Haunting Wave now. Nice. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's finish this up. Where did my catapult go that I go that I just possessed? Now, the possession's up pretty fast, so that's good. All right. So, heroes with three stacks of Curse shoot an untalented shot of Wivering Fire. Okay. Well, that didn't sound so bad. Let's see how this goes. I missed! I just completely whipped it! It feels really, really bad when that happens. Oh no! Get away! Oh no. Those calls subscribing, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Thank you, man, I'm gonna die. No, no, please. Your killing spree is oh, feels bad. Thank you, Coles. Man, appreciate you. Thank you very much. Got the new subscriber going on. I'm working on. I'm don't tell anybody. I'm working on those. Uh, working on those badges. Should be up in the near future. Maybe two weeks. Maybe two weeks. They're gonna be amazing. I got some amazing ideas, but I'm not an artist, so I can't do it myself. I really thought I could one v one. What's his face with the with the phoenix i thought if i would have landed the mind control i would have been able to get him but as you saw whiffed it was a total whiff lost. all right so this is pretty good so uh heroes with three stacks of banshee curse shoot an untalented shot of wavering so fire shot of wavering fire applies banshee's curse okay that's so involved man so the banshee's curse is already on them the wavering fire applies another stack of banshee curse okay Boss? I don't know. What are we doing here? No, great man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! Can you even believe it? Oh, oh, I'm in a bad spot. Can we please? Look at the healing, dude. The, uh, the clutch healing from Lucio there to keep everybody alive. I feel like I did a lot of damage, like, really fast there. That's one of the things that is really good about the new Sylvanas, is being able to do a lot of burst damage. Okay, let's see. Maybe? 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 Uh-oh, that hurts. Get the, get the thing. Oh, I got three stacks. I forgot. Uh, can I? I got that extended basic attack range. I just gotta get use use out of it. I definitely don't want to get rooted, especially with only three of us here. I think we just go do a camp or something. Anyway, so basic attack range. Let's see. Oh, that's noticeable for sure. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty good. Pretty good. See how it ends up, but uh, so far so good. I feel like actually these talents work pretty well together, um, which isn't generally the case. We're just looking at the talents in the tier regardless of the synergy, right? So, Willow the Forsaken. She actually had this before. It makes her unstoppable. It's your level, our number two here. It's a 60 second cooldown. Makes you unstoppable and get, I believe it's a movement speed increase. Yeah, for a 40%. So, it's a very nice movement and speed increase. Uh, definitely worth picking up in, in a lot of cases, if not most cases. Oh, he went that way. I was not expecting that. Let's see if I can get a. Oh, I thought he was gonna. My magic fail. Rip. It's okay. It's okay. One of these days, I'm going to get an amazing mind control, and then I'm going to be, like, super pumped about it, and then um, I want to pick, pick it all the time. That's what I'm... That's Oh, boy. Oh, that was a really good deal that she just did there. Oh, it hurts so bad. I'm probably dead. Can I get a heal? No. I mean, I was... It's right there. <laughs> oh, it was right there. Oh, no. No, team. All right, we're gonna get some value bottom, but they're already pushed into this keep with that shaman or the uh, mage camp. Ah, Hanzo can maybe clear it. That sucked, bro. How? Are, let's see. How are those uh, healing numbers? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, since we got a second, let's take a look at this. Four deaths is amazing. I'm actually really doing a good job for the team here. You know, really staying alive and in things. I hear that the objective is to um, keep your health above zero. So that's what we're trying to accomplish. <laughs> we'll see if we can do it, Esteban. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, let's do this. There we go. My temple's power 
All right, so they're obviously getting vision. We just saw that. They're going to be moving maybe down towards boss, but they don't. surely they won't try to engage on it. We need to wait for stitches, obviously. Um, Will of the Forsaken is really good. And now with um, Evasive Fire, I notice is really good for the new Sylvanas as well, though. Missed. Okay, no problem. I can take that. That's ours now. Oh, and she just freaking hit it. Dang it. Who did I get? I got Lucio. I got Lucio. Am I, get out of the thing, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, no. How did Greyman get over there, though? Oh, that's so much damage, dude. That's so much damage. Yes, right here, right here, right here. He's so slow. Look at him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kill him. Don't let him kill me. Stitches! Thought Stitches was going- Ah, oh, don't let me down, Stitches! <laughs> Save me, Stitches! Uh, I'm scared. I'm going back. YOLO. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's- it's- you know, the Will of the Forsaken is like, okay, Sylvanas has to get into a rough position in a lot of cases, right? Now, with the, the Remorseless talent, I like that. The basic attack range being increased feels really good, actually. Um, but she still has to get in there with the Qs, which the range is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm just saying, you know, the scope of uh, getting there and doing damage, she has to be a little bit closer than maybe she would want to be. And so being able to jump in, do a ton of burst damage, and then after that, uh, be able to get out with for the Will, will the Forsaken, that's really good. Really good. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Oh, wait. No, let's get two more sacks. I'll get that other catapult out of here. Wait, wait. Don't hit that guy. Don't hit that guy. I need another stack. Don't do it. One, one, one. Uh, too late. Too late. Rip. Let me go get this one. Okay. We're going down. We're going down. Hurry. Hurry. Mount. Run. Go. Fight. Win. Uh-oh. Oh, I only got, or I only got what's his face. Oh, and then he got knocked out. We got, he got saved by the objective. Did you see that crap? If you did, if I didn't see it from my own eyes, I don't, I wouldn't believe it. Double kill. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could chase here. Get the hook, get the big boy hook. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh, you took, t there you go. There you go, Stitchy boy. a boy. All right, we can get this one right here. Turn these off so they don't kill the catapult. Catapult's doing damage to the thing. Look at that. It's perfectly positioned. Pro plays. He's not taking any damage, and he's hitting that uh, keep. Uh, I'd say that's value. Uh-oh. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. No, no. Not like this, man. Okay, I got away. <laughs> of course I did. It's really, really dangerous stuff going on right there, boys. Okay, um... For, uh memes and giggles dude this orphea is getting really good placement on her eternal hunger yeah i took the re cooldown reduction on on the um mind control because if it's gonna be good i'm gonna need it up all the time right and so that, that's what this does basically you can use it i think every like 10 seconds or something silly i'll tell you in just a second for sure you need to be on my team catapult Three stacks of the possession gives us the catapult. And the stacks come up pretty quickly, so I'd say that's pretty good. Pretty good. Especially if we could just get in late game. I think it's really going to come to play mostly in late game. I don't think early game matters, because you don't really push lanes like you used to. You know what I mean? Yada da mean? Yada da mean? I don't know why I say that. It's just been a thing. Forever. Please kill us, everybody. Thank you. There we go. Dude, we got a boss push into the keep. The whole team's here. Things are looking up. Objectives coming up. Uh, Eternal Hungers. No, no, no value. Good. Well, let's get that one. Look at that. Another catapult. Ours. Can we get a mind control? We did. We did, boys. Yes. Please. Kill him. Uh-oh. Uh, he's dead. Fantastic. All right. Let's get the building turn off. Uh, very, very good. Very good. All right. Good. Thir four more seconds. Come on, let me get in my control. Please. Oh, fail. He got away with like three health. 
boss on the core though. We're looking pretty good. If I can, oh, not die. Oh, you got the, uh, he got the shield off. It's not gonna matter though, cause he just gets eliminated. Bye. Thanks for playing. My control into the core because why not? Woo! That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Victory. All right. That was interesting. A rough start. Rough start. No big deal. MVP. We got implausible the MVP stitches in the game. Whew. That was stressful. <laughs> Talents. This one, three stacks. Um, they're slowed. You're going to do percentage-based damage. Possession, you get the idea. Save it for three, get a catapult. This one really sets the build off. Festering Wounds. Applies three stacks to Banshee. Bonus damage, 25%. Increased movement range at... Or, pff, increased basic attack range at 13. Um, yeah, I don't understand that part. Heroes with three stacks of Banshee Curse. So let's say you chunk your wave out there. They have three stacks of the Banshee Curse. And then... Here's the Banshee Curse. Shoot. It's going to shoot an untalented Wivering Fire, and then that applies Banshee Cure. That's, that's really confusing. I don't know. It's free damage. I mean, you don't have to do anything for it. 16 is unstoppable, and level 20 is the upgrade to the Mind Control, which got uh, a lot of zero value there, actually. Didn't go amazing. Did a fair amount of damage. Not a lot. Did the most uh, XP, though. It's pretty common. Nobody likes the XP in the game. Uh, so that's game number three, man. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below for the YouTubes. Thanks so much for being here. And if you don't already, you can follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash gotcha underscore games where the Coles came in big with the 100 bits. That's the first bits. The second sub just became affiliate. You should come hang out too. So we'll see you there. Peace out.